Hi there, today a short video on how to manage VPN connections with PowerShell. This is Mr. Automation. Um, yes, agenda. So we have some PowerShell commandlets available for setting up VPN connections or mm, managing the VPN connection data, so to speak. You don't uh, set up the connection with that, but I'll show that later. So we have a get VPN connection, we have a new VPN connection, we have a remove VPN connection. We actually use rustdial.exe under the hood to connect on that uh, VPN connection. We also use that to disconnect. Uh, we're going to inspect the route tables a little bit and the metrics, so we'll see what happens there in the routing table when you set up a VPN connection. And uh, we are going to create a VPN module as well, so you can import that in other scripts and reuse that. And we, uh, if we created the module, we retest that as well from a script perspective. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, so I prepared a little bit, of course, otherwise you see me typing all the time. It's quite boring and time consuming as well. So I created a VPN uh, PowerShell script here and I'll show you a little bit how it works. So I have two functions. One is to connect, so to uh, uh, set up the VPN connection, actually connect to it. And uh, we have some input there. So the name for the, for the VPN is just a descriptive name. Then the username, of course, a password. The server name where you want to connect to the protocol, you can use PPTP or uh, L2TP. Some different uh, protocols are those. And uh, if you use L2TP, you also need a shared secret. So that's why this one is mandatory. You can provide it. And if you provide it, you also need to provide a uh, point uh, layer 2 tunneling protocol L2TP. Uh, because that needs that shared secret. Uh, but for this demo, I'm only using PPTP connections, by the way. Um, and here on this line, we actually connect to that uh, VPN session we set up here. And so that's the connect function. And then I have a disconnect function that basically accepts a VPN name as an input. And then it gets that connection. And if it's there, it actually disconnects it and it removes the connection. So then it's uh, disappeared again from the system. So what you can do now is get uh, a VPN connection. We don't have any VPN connections currently. And I don't have any VPN servers any, uh, either, by the way. So what I did, I searched the internet and there uh, appears to be some free uh, VPN servers around. I'll share that with you. Um, I found it here, free VPN. And I found this Germany server, so I'm playing with this one now. And I found here a, a username, VPN book, and I found a password there. So those values now I'm using here. So this is a descriptive name, Germany VPN. That's the username I got from there, from this website, hang on. There, VPN book. I got the password from there as well. The VPN server address, you saw that already. I also got that from there, right here. I connect to that server now. And the VPN protocol is PPTP point-to-point -point tunneling protocol to be specific and you can see that here as well it's PPTP yeah. okay so let's run the script and see what we get and I'll show the route table as well route print and we need to focus on this one so this is your default route, right? Everybody, I hope you know how IPv4 works. At least this is your default route. And uh, you can have several default routes. And the lower metrics sort of speak wins that will be the default route. So let's see what happens if we set up a VPN connection, okay? If we see some different uh, metric values there and uh, another default route uh, added. So uh, I'll run the script. And as you can see now here, that VPN connection is already set up. We're now registering the computer on the network and we are connected there. I'm not going to do a disconnect, of course. So let's do a route print again. And let's see if we go to the default route. But you see now that we have two default routes. And uh, initially one, the, the default route I'm using here, this is my local gateway on my router at home. Uh, on my switch by the way and that has a very high metric now so it's not being used so everything goes over this interface now and um yeah so basically we are now connected to this uh, vpn server and we can do a get uh, vpn 
connection, for instance. So you can see that we are connected currently. And we're using this tunneling protocol. And yeah, and I don't know if this VPN actually also works. So let's open a website and let's see if that works via this VPN. I honestly don't know. Let's take our website here. Yeah, that's. It's not very quick, you see that already, so it's a quite slow VPN, I think, but it does work. So the traffic is routed. Uh, let's see if we can uh, zoom a little bit deeper on that. Let's go to the performance tab. We can go to the resource monitoring windows. You can go to networking windows. You can see TCP connections. And uh, I don't know if we can see it here. Uh, let me see. No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm not going to start a wire sharp for this. No. I was hoping that we could see it here perhaps, but I can't spot it instantly. Yeah, I think... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my local address. You see that? And, um, so we can't spot that. If I do IP config, you will see that this is my internal address, right? I'm always using with this default gateway, but now this PPP adapter, this VPN, sort of overruled that, and now it's using this IP address, this local IP address. So it goes via the VPN for sure. And uh, yeah, you saw that here, right? Chrome. You see all those connections now go via the other interface to the internet. So that works. Mm, let's see. I'm not gonna make it a very long demo. And what we do here is a disconnect of the VPN. So what I do that now. So I press uh, F10 to and to show you the full. Uh, hang on, I need to prepare that. Now basically, I just want to close this one. I open up a new uh, to the VPN again. So I have really a fresh session. We don't have anything in memory. And now we only import this module, for instance. Uh, I need to have a shell first thing. Yeah, perfect. So now we can do uh, connect, uh, connect VPN, for instance. You see that? So we have that now. And we can do minus VPN name. See that? So everything that's inside of this module here, VPN name, VPN username, you will find it here as well. So VPN pass. You see that? It's recognized. PowerShell knows that. It's, it's very nice, so you don't need to remember anything. You can even type connect VPN space minus control space. And then you get a list of all the stuff that is accepted as input for your function that you created here in your module. It's very handy. Um, and here you see VPN name, username, password, address, VPN, shared secrets. And that's exactly what we specified here. So you don't need to open up your module every time, oh, which parameter I need to specify. You can actually reverse engineer that with PowerShell. It's quite powerful. Um, well, yeah, that's it, I think. And let's do one more demo with a different VPN server, okay? So let's go to this free VPN and let's take, uh, I don't know, this French server, okay? We go to France now. So we change the server here. Uh, that's the server. It's the same username and password. And we call this now uh, France VPN. I don't, I'm not sure if the server works, by the way, but we'll see that in a minute, I guess. So we we'll run this script again. And let's see if we get some connections. Okay, now it's connecting to France, to VPN server. It's registered on the network already. So we have an uh, IP address there. And we have a default route as well here on 00. zero. See that there? And this time we're using a different IP address, of course. We're connecting to a different VPN server as well. So, um, yes, and this disconnect part won't work, by the way. So I'll stop the script here because I did a little bit lame. It's hard coded here. You can, uh, of course, do uh, VPN name equals, and then you provide a name there, for instance, this one. And then you can use this. Uh, let's call it VPN name complete. Uh, VPN name, you can then provide that there, of course. And we can provide that here as well. So we are a little bit more consistent across the board. Uh, so I'll disconnect 
this one I will run it once more and then we're done with the VPN I think. So setting up the connection to France now. Verifying username, registering on the network, so basically getting an IP address. And I already showed you that we have an IP address. I do it for the last time. And we have an IP address. I also showed you that the browser is still working now, but it's going via the VPN in France now, not via my local uh, network. And here on line 9, we disconnect again. Yeah, so we're disconnected now. Um, I showed everything. Let's see here. So may I the last slide, I think. Let me check a little bit. Inspect the tables. We create a module. We retested that uh, from a script. Yes, I'm happy. So thanks again, and perhaps I'll see you again. Bye.